Ned, you've been drafted by the Adelaide Crows. Uh, was that your reaction, that noise that came out when your name was read out? I wasn't too sure. It all kind of went into a bit of a blur. I don't think it was me. I don't think I was young, but it might have been the family next to me. I think they're all pretty excited for me to be at the Crows, so um, yeah. How are you feeling right now? Is it sunk in yet? It probably hasn't quite yet. Um, I think probably when I'm lying in bed tonight, I'll probably have a think about it. I think a bed's usually a pretty good thinking space, so um, I'll probably um, start to yeah, soak it all in. But yeah, just can't wait to get up there and just enjoy it. You're known as a pressure forward and attacking machine. Is that your sort of role you see yourself uh, playing best, or do you see yourself as a bit more versatile? Yeah, I definitely think I do have um, an element of versatility in my game, but um, yeah, I do pride myself on my energy and, um, and my pressure and my willingness to attack the, attack the opposition. So, um, yeah, so that's one element of my game, but I'm always looking to get better at other things and, um, as you say, be versatile. You've got some great results in endurance testing, won the yo-yo test at the combine. Would you say that's one of your biggest strengths? Yeah, yeah, probably is one of my um, one of my biggest strengths as a footballer, and I think um, I try and replicate that in the game as well. So, um, yeah, I suppose it probably is. Talk us a little bit about you off the field. Um, understand that you've got your own boat and like a bit of fishing. Yeah, I love my fishing. So um, I think Adelaide's got some pretty good fishing. I've seen um, a few shows and stuff like that, of people catching stuff and stuff there. So um, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes. And you've been asked a few times, but Ned's Falcon Files has uh, sort of seemed <laughs> to follow you around. <laughs> Talk us through that. Oh, the Falcon's Files. I don't think I'll ever hear the end of the Falcon's Files. But um, yeah, it was originally just like a little video kind of thing going on at the Falcon, just to give people a bit of an insight of the club. But um, yeah, it caught off a little bit. I mean, caught off. I mean, it didn't get many views. But um, yeah, it's all right. There's all the talk about your character and stuff. Is that accurate? Like, is the diary of ideas, is that true? You've got a list of things that you want to do and inventions and stuff like that? Yeah, a little bit. I suppose like I'm a bit of a bit of a thinker and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I like to think that my footy is one thing, but then I can also bring um, an element of character and stuff to the club. And I just can't wait to go in and meet the boys. And um, yeah, really looking forward to it. Who are you most looking forward to sort of uh, training alongside and learning from? Um, I think it's a bit of a cliche, but you see Rory Sloan like on the track and stuff like that, and he's someone who I really idolise the way he attacks the ball and, and tackles and stuff, and that's something that I try and value in my game. So, so him obviously, but but the whole playing group. I mean, Adelaide's a really a really strong list. So yeah, I can't wait to meet everyone. You've already been given a nickname by some of the Crows fans, uh, Flanders. Have you had that one before? <laughs> Flanders. Actually, I haven't had that one, but um, yeah, don't mind it actually. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> and uh, tell tell Crows fans what you sort of uh, play, what, t- what type of player you are. Um, yeah, like I try and take elements out of a lot of game, um, a lot of people's games. Like we talk about Rory Sloan and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I probably don't want to compare myself too much. I suppose I'm my own player. I want to bring my own things um, to the footy club. So yeah, so I'll be looking to talk to different people and get craft out of them. But I guess I'm my own player in some sense. Have you got any goals for the next few months? Yeah, well, I suppose um, just getting in and getting really good consistent training and um, just trying to be really consistent with my routine, develop a routine and start to establish some of those um, resources at the club and just make the most of it from, from as early as possible and just look to improve from, from right, right from the outset when I get there. You must be pretty happy for Sam Walsh being taken at number one, another Geelong Falcons boy. Yeah, yeah, it was actually awesome. It actually relaxed me a little bit because I was just able to kind of sit back a little bit and just enjoy it for him. Like, um, yeah, it was pretty special seeing him up there. Uh, he's been awesome for me, a real soundboard at the Falcons and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to establish a few more of those relationships at the Crows. Just lastly, who would you say are some of your biggest influences on your career so far? Um, all my coaches have been awesome, like Luke Power at the Academy, Doc um, with the Falcons and, and Batters and even Wojo um, at School Footy, Batters obviously at Big Country, so all my coaches have been awesome and, and they've been awesome with me and as, it has been footy and I've learned a lot from them but they've also been awesome outlets outside of footy and I think I've got some mates there as well, so them and obviously my family's been amazing as well. Congratulations Ed, welcome to the Crows, it's great to have you. No, thank you so much, can't wait.